Okay, so second paragraph, and this is all right from Virginia Code. Uh, on January 5th, 2022, Mr. Ralph was convicted. Convicted? It doesn't fucking matter that you pled no contest. It's a convictions is a conviction. You were in there. I was in there. <laughs> I was in the courtroom with Faith when that guy sat with his shirt half untucked in front of the judge, a lovely African-American gentleman who said, this court find, is going to find you guilty. Do you understand what you're doing by pleading no contest? And he said, yes. Right? So, Ain't no going back well, now. Well, that's the thing. When you travel to another country, if you get stopped by their secondary and customs, they ask you, do you have any convictions? Not charges. Yeah. Sometimes no. arrest, but they're looking for convictions. It boggles my mind that he doesn't get this. Like, it doesn't matter what the fucking plea is if the court is finding you guilty. That's a conviction. Fuck. Anyway. So, January 5th, 2022, Mr. Roth was convicted of charges on charges of violating 18.2-386.2 of the Code of Virginia, which I just read. Uh, and then, as specified by Code of Virginia, because again, in Virginia, no sex crime is defined as a sex crime within the statute of that sex crime. So that's why we have Code of Virginia 9.1.913, which defines... 18.2-386.2, which is what he was convicted of, <laughs> is a sexual offense. Quote, if the offense was committed on or after July 1st, 2020, this offense was committed in August of 2020. I, I don't want to say he should have done it earlier, but he didn't, you know, so it's, <laughs> right. That doesn't, that doesn't make any fucking sense, but he did it after that date, which means it was a sex offense. If it is a sex offense that you were convicted of, motherfucker, then you are by definition a convicted sex offender.